Yeah, g'day guys, it's Shane here with the Backyard Bushman Channel. Uh, we're out camping this weekend, so we're not in the, out in the middle of nowhere, but we're at the campgrounds. I'm going to try out some gear and whatnot. Figured we'd get an early jump on the camping season this year. And um, I'm going to try a new hammock. I'm going to try the Grand Trunk uh, Skeeter Beater Pro. I have the Skeeter Beater, Skeeter Beater Pro. Uh, you can probably pick up the Skeeter Beater about 30 bucks. The Pro's around 60 to 70 bucks. Um, or you can find a good deal on it, which I did. Uh, I got it for around 45 bucks, I think. Shields up to 400 pounds. Uh, you know, it's all power nylon, whatever it is, parachute material for the hammock, stainless steel binders and whatnot. And it's supposed to be simple, easy setup. Um, I'm going to combine that with my tarp. Tarp you don't need a review on, of course. I'm going to try out an Alpine sleeping bag, uh, which I picked up for a good price. There's going to be a couple things I'll do a review on, and I'll cover those in the morning. And uh, might even try an inflatable mat. I don't know, I might just toss down my wool blankets. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'm going to use uh, got a couple trees back here. Again, not the greatest camera guy, so I apologize. But... Um, I'll be filming stage by stage as I go through. I'm going to try to do a really simple setup. Um, I'm just going to run a straight line, uh, you know, set up a tarp, drop the hammock in there. She should be pretty good once I stake it down. Um, could have used a couple more bungee straps, but crap happened. So stay tuned, guys, and yeah, see what happens. All right, here we are, guys. So I got the gear here. Just thought I'd give you a quick show. Um, she fits in my pack, which is nice. Sleeping bag drops off the bottom, of course, but. There's the Grand, Grand Trunk Pro, uh, Skeeter Beta Pro, I should say, and uh, it could be more compact. I wasn't going to worry about it. It's double bagged, which is interesting, I guess, uh, somewhere else to stash your uh, equipment. Now, apparently, this thing doesn't need anything. I do have some tree huggers here, right there. These are Hammock Bliss tree huggers. You know, they're about 15 bucks or so. Um, I don't know if I'll use them or not. We'll see how we go with the Hammock, but it all seems pretty simple. And just here, I just have, you know, a couple lengths of paracord and... Uh, some plastic tent stakes. Uh, the ground here, ground here, I should say, is uh, it's a bit sandy. Um, he threw in the normal stakes with the tent there. Not a lot of grip, so I've got the all-round purpose stakes, of course. I'm going to see how that works out. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, back again. Uh, I don't know if you can make that out there. There's the tarp set up. Let me see if I can uh, get that in the frame there. There she is. Nothing too fancy. I got the tent over here. Um, lessons learned. I tell you what, I need to brush up on my uh, my knots for sure. You know, uh, knots are something you can take for granted, and I haven't really had to practice them since Boy Scouts. But uh, yeah, it'll work. Don't get me wrong; it'll hold. But uh, I thought I knew some knots that just ended up being crap. So that's one of the things I have to learn. Uh, all right, moving on. Okay, guys, back again. So uh, you know doing a few other things but messing with this still anyways I just unveiled the hammock and uh, she's big that's for sure it looks pretty sturdy um, the mosquito line is just some elastic uh, there's a lot of it there so that ought to work fine if I was thinking uh, uh, ahead of myself I probably would have thrown it up on the paracord there that I used for the tarp but anyways it's no big deal uh, one thing I did notice unless I'm missing something and I was sure I read this online that it came with bindings. Um, they didn't look too fancy. I think they were just paracord with some knots tied in. You basically looped it and hooked it to where you wanted to be. Uh, I don't see that anywhere in the package. Here are the clips. We just have these uh, S binders um, doubled up. Pretty serious paracord there through the ends. So there's no multiple strands and all that other rubbish that, um, you know, makes a lot of people hesitate when it comes to hammocks. Uh, but I do have those tree huggers I bought. So I'll throw those around the trees, of course. This is supposed to be super simple, same thing, throw it around, and then you just clip this in uh, to one of the multiple rings on there, should show, hold her up. And then, once she's up, I've, uh, like I said, I've got to put this mosquito line up. I'll put, my, uh, I'll put my big butt in there and see how she feels. I'll be back. There we go, guys. She's set up there. As you can see, I uh, finagled with it a little. I got the tarp pinched in over there. That's going to be my foot end. I didn't want any rain in there. Um, you know, until I get a better grasp on, on how to hook this thing up, that's just pinched off. And then that end there, the tarp is pulled to the tree. Uh, we got a couple of bungee cords there. That's the corner I'll be getting in and out of. I'll have to pick some more of those up. You can see the bottom of the tarp there with that little pouch. Uh, things that I did learn. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good setup. Now, actually, I was wrong about those, uh, the cords that come with it. It gave me, uh, oh, I don't know, two lengths of maybe 25-foot power cord. It's this bright purple stuff. Um, get some tree huggers, you know, I mean, sure, paracord will work, uh, but those tree huggers, basically, they're just seat belts, you know, and they're much gentler on the tree, and they don't slip, 
Uh, that side there, that's a big tree, of course, so I just used some power cord to extend it, tied it up. I reckon she's going to hold. She better hold, because I'd like to get a good night's sleep. At any rate, um, yeah, so it didn't take much. It comes with elastic for the net to hold that up and everything. Uh, you know, and I think it was just a few lengths of 25-foot power cord. You know, everything on there has plenty left over, basically. So, I will be back in the morning to let you guys know how the night's sleep went in the hammock. Actually, hang on a second. We'll take a quick peek inside here. Let me unclip this. Where are we? Right there. All right, that's not going to happen with one hand. Give me a second, guys. There we go. Lifted right up. There we go. That's the setup inside. So as you can see, the mosquito netting has an elastic holding it up. Big zipper down the side there. Plenty of room. Really nice and low. Fits perfectly inside this top. Um, she might bottom out a little more, but there's no way in heck it's getting wet in there. Unless it's on the ends here. And again, you know, with the garbage bags and poncho and whatever else. I mean, if that's the case, it's, it's just too easy to really cover that up. But, uh to be some sneaky rain to fit in that gap and get you wet. Who knows? I'll be back to let you guys know what I think of this product. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm trying it out here, and uh, it's plenty big, and I've been bumping around in here trying to get comfy, which isn't that hard, believe me, and it's holding me up, and I'm a good 250 pounds, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, the skeeter beater only holds 240, I believe, and this one at, at 400, I'm, uh, she's doing really well. It's super comfy, i got to say. Um, I'm going to adjust it a little, make it a bit higher, and I'm going to move this this uh, side of the top here to cover me up a bit more. As you can see, I'm hanging a bit low. Uh, but again, I'll be back in the morning after I sleep in it, let you know what I think. Um, initial impression is that I'm going to sleep like a baby in this thing. It's, uh, it's real comfy. So stay tuned. Here we are. Okay, guys, this is the hammock I slept in last night. There's the missus deciding that she prefers the hammock to her tent, which leaked pretty badly. <laughs> Uh, luckily, yeah, Poncho threw over it and uh, had some garbage bags and whatnot managed to get by. I gotta say that uh, as far as the hammock goes, it's pretty toasty in there. I actually had a it's a Alpine Designs 10 degree sleeping bag in there. It wasn't quite that cold, of course, but it was pretty pretty dang chilly. Um, and I I can't remember the brand. I had uh, a really thin inflatable mat in there. I have to say that bottom insulation in the hammock is pretty important because any area of my body that wasn't on that mat could certainly feel the chill. I think it was about 3.30 I got up and uh, it was pretty dang cold so I threw a wool blanket in there as well and kind of wrapped that around me. Um, and that knocked me straight out. 3.30 once I had that wool blanket on, oh wow, I, I just didn't wake up. I slept right through. Uh, if I could say anything, um, you know, feet would be the one thing I'd want to try to figure out how to make warmer. I will admit that I, I wasn't dressed properly and I knew that going in. I just had cotton pants on. Um, and a t-shirt and a vest. I didn't wear my jacket because my jacket was uh, was wet after the downpour last night. And uh, you're a nutter. <laughs> and, um, and I didn't have any headwear or anything on. So, you know, but it wasn't that, uh, you know, this wasn't a survival situation. I knew what the weather was going to do and I wanted to test just how warm it would be, you know, in, uh, in a normal situation. At any rate, the Punch and Judy show is over. I got to say, this is the Grand Trunk uh, Ski to Beat a Pro. Like I said, she holds up to 400 pounds. I think it's pretty damn well made. And I'd have to say that I'm pretty happy with this product. I'll continue to use it. And uh, I think I'll be pretty happy with that for years to come. I might do an update if I, uh, you know, modify it at all. Or I come up with any new ideas for the product. Uh, ways to make it warmer. I have a few ideas. I just didn't use them today because I kind of wanted to give it a, you know, sort of a, a baseline test. And, uh, but anyway, guys, once again, this is Shane with the Backyard Bushman channel. I want to thank you for watching, and I truly appreciate your support. Beata says goodbye as well. <laughs> so tune in next time, guys. There's plenty more videos on the way. Thanks for watching. Bye.